Hello, I'm Richard with ev for You Custom Conversions. And today I'm going to show you a car that uh, kind of takes me back a little bit. In 1975, I bought my first Volkswagen. It was a 1964 Beetle with sunroof. And in the shop right now is a 1964 that looks pretty bone stock. I mean, this thing has not been adulterated very much. And that's why it you know, takes me back. Is the one that I bought in 1975, it was only an 11-year-old car at the time, and it was bone stock. And nobody had adulterated it at that point. I was the first one to do that. So I thought we'd take a look at this 1964 VW Beetle and, uh, and step back in time. So here it is, 1964 VW Beetle. I'm not sure if this is an original color. I'm not an expert on the classic Volkswagens by any means. Mine was the, the light blue, I don't know they called it seafoam blue or something, I don't, don't remember. And uh, mine had the, the beauty rings on it, so it didn't have the the black uh, rim showing like you see here. Um, but it was a, you know, it was not my first car, but it was my first Volkswagen. And, uh, and it was the one, it was the first of many. And so I just thought we'd, you know, for me it was kind of, you know, we, we see a lot of these things, but they're usually uh, personalized, let's say. And this one is pretty much, you know, a factory fresh kind of look. You see the dash. And of course, the, this is the first year of the metal sunroof. I had two 64s with sunroofs over the years. I, I really enjoyed the cars back in the day. Um, the bug that I'd had the longest uh, at the time, uh, back when I was young, was I had a 1968 automatic stick shift. Uh, that I had from, uh, let's see, I bought that in 77, early 77, and I had that until 1983, and that was um, the last air-cooled that I'd had for a long time. Fast forward 25 years, in 2008 we bought the one that we um, converted to electric and used as a marketing vehicle before we started using the Carmen Ghia. Um, and it was originally tan, we painted it red, and we still have it to this day. And so it makes it, the, the, the Beetle that I own the longest. Uh, but let's take a look at this from a slightly different perspective. And that is that this car has been modified. I mean, it's clean. It's got the cocoa mats. I used to have those back in the day. Um, the upholstery and everything is nice. It, it's, you know, it's not a uh, chassis off rest or, you know, uh, pan off restoration or anything, but it's just a nice, clean, original looking VW Beetle. I like it. But if we open the glove box, we'll see that there's some instrumentation in here that's not stock. And so um, this is instrumentation to monitor the, the 12 volt system, our motor and uh, controller, and our battery pack. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, What'd you think from EV for you? Of course, it's converted.
and so the guy didn't want anything you know to look different on the dash so everything's the same the only thing is this subtle little switch down here that uh, that puts it into reverse that's it everything's just the way you know we received the car and uh, pretty much you know how it was when it left the dealer back in uh, 1964. Well, let's pop the bonnet and take a look underneath the front. You love the nice airtight VWs. <laughs> so under the front we've got uh, our main disconnect switch and a 3.3 .3 kilowatt charger, a trickle charger uh, that's hardwired in for the 12 volt battery, the inertia switch, and our J1772 charge port, and the front battery pack. So let's take a look in the rear. Again, the car's sitting somewhere or driving down the road, you don't know that it's not bone stock. No tailpipes, but other than that, you know, it just looks like a 64 VW Beetle. So in the back here, you've got all your necessary components for this thing to go. And it goes. This thing uh, is wanting to break the tires loose in second gear. Uh, from a standing start, so they're uh, they're no slouch. The best part is that the lack of maintenance. Uh, back when I was uh, going to college in the '70s stuff, I was averaging over a thousand miles a week in my VW Beetles, and that means that um, you know every three thousand miles for a valve adjustment and oil change came very quickly, <laughs> very frequently, let's say. And, uh, and luckily I was young, because uh, today, no way, you know. I'm, I'm a lot older, a lot tireder. <laughs> Just don't care to do that kind of maintenance anymore. So the, uh, the, the changes that have been made to this Beetle uh, make it uh, a fun classic car low maintenance um, the other thing that uh, we always recommend this one's got the original four-wheel drum brakes is that you go to the four-wheel disc brakes and not so much for the extra braking power or anything because it's not a huge difference really but um, the difference is the discs don't require any maintenance the drum brakes on the VWs aren't self-adjusting, and so you uh, you have another maintenance issue. Um, and so you get rid of that. This really is a very low maintenance vehicle and very fun to drive. It's got almost double the horsepower, over double the torque, and so this thing just just is a hoot to drive. So. Anyway, just wanted to share this with you. Uh, as uh, we've been uh, for years now, we're extremely busy, and so we just don't get the opportunity to do too many videos. And uh, But I wanted to show you this clean 1964 VW Beetle. I mean, needs new hubcaps, and the front bumper needs to be replaced. But beyond that, it's, it's a pretty clean little car. Uh, a very nice uh, example of a 1964 VW Beetle. Catch you next time.